Why, hello everybody, it's John from the Gamer Duo here. Today is another special day, nonetheless, as we are continuing our Pokemon uh, Ultra Moon Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. So, um, the reason why I said I like this, I'm being a little bit quieter because I don't know if people are starting to go to bed yet, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, this episode is gonna be a good episode. I can already feel it in my bones, chillin'. Anyway, uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because, one, we have our route encounters and an encounter, I think, in there. I swear you can get an encounter in there. But I'm not 100% sure, because, again, I haven't played the game before. Um, B, we have to go through Team Recap, because nothing died, and we beat Kiawe last episode. So, I'm like I said, we want to get to Mallow's trial pretty quickly. Uh, so, let's go into our bag. No. We're doing a Pokemon recap. So, we're going to start out with Phyllis, who's our highest level Pokemon now. Level 29, holding the Lumberry with Synchronized, Confuse Ray, a Psychic Fangs, and Infestation, and Meditate. Then, we have our Sheila with Bolt Tackle, Acid, Play Rough, and Fire Lash. Then, we have Urza with Brick Break, Icicle Spear, Confuse Ray, and Shadow Sneak. Then, we have Tasha with Leech Life, Sludge Wave, Roost, and Infestation. Last, and we have Flutter with Brick Break, Sludge Bomb, High Jump Kick, Synthesis. And lastly, we have Joey with Icicle Crash, Magnet Bomb, Brick Break, and Icicle Spear. He hasn't really gotten very much, like, love lately. Sheila was our girl, though. She's the one that moved us to getting that, um, totem battle done. So I appreciate Sheila's hard work in doing that. Oh, wait. Part of the reason why we had Mrs. Phyllis up front is not because she had the... She's the highest level Pokemon, but because she's got Confused Ray Infestation and stuff like that. So, let's see. Can we get a Pokemon in here, finally? I knew we had to fight those two. I think we have to fight them first before. So, yeah, what is this? The numbers keep climbing in my aura reading. Ah, oh, John. I bid you aloha. Hmm. This fine tunnel is the most fascinating to learn that there are a variety of construction methods made possible by Pokemon to lend their aid to humans. Trial goers make the many trials, but, not, but it's only natural, perhaps, and that a trainer such would ex exude aura after catching contact with so many totem Pokemon. A wash in aura. Oh, you young man. You have even more Z crystals than we last met. I hope that I do hope you mastered the Z moves. I, do you hope to master the Z-moves? I sure hope that I can. Wonder if the Lord appears with our z move is used when we once had such light in our world as well. But it was precious to us, and we did not even use it in battle. But get excited! It is nearly time. While our technology is advanced, we must be modified to full work to the fullest Pokemon. But we must go and meet the scientist who is versed in many ways of Pokemon. So we will have no hope in achieving such things. Yay, I don't fight them. whoop de doo da I don't fight them. I'm actually kind of happy I don't fight them. I could, I did not want to fight them. Okay, they has, there has to be an encounter right here. I swear. Oh, right here. Got it, got it, got it. There, we got an encounter, which is in the... A Verizion! No way! <laughs> <laughs> a nice grass fighting type Pokemon. I will take it. I will take it. I'm gonna quick ball it. I don't think it's gonna. It's, it's not. I don't think it's gonna work. But you never know until you try it. And it's got a, the highest catch rate it can right now. So let's. It does not fit a quick ball, but there's really nothing it can't fit. Yeah. Reason that is gonna be a tough Pokemon because we're out of nest balls and we can't really buy them. That's the one Pokeball that if we could buy, I like, I sure we bought them before, but if we could buy them, that's the one ball that I would buy. Um, I'm gonna go with, okay, so you're disarming voicing, which is fine by me, especially if I'm gonna just use Confuse Ray, and then Infestation. Those are, that's kind of, my, that's kind of what I'm trying to accomplish here. Confuse Ray, Infestation. Because Infestation is going to do some damage, it's super effective. No, it's not. It's because uh, Bug resists fighting. Or fighting resists Bugs. So, it's actually not. It's going to do like maybe 20%. No, actually, not even. Not even. That's good. It'll have 20% damage on it, is what I meant to say. No, it's not. I was thinking it would do more, let's be real. 
Um, anyway, so I'm gonna next go with a... I don't even know. Uh, let's just start out strong. No, let's just start out strong. We're gonna start out with a heal ball. I don't think it's gonna work very well, but we might as well start out with it. The fact that we have another legendary, though, our encounters have been pretty good. I mean, AG Slash, Mega, whatever it's called, Mega Audino. Well, oh, that rang. That did actually shook once. Okay, hit yourself again, actually. I would take it. No, Revenge, which is not gonna do any much, very much damage. But hey, that's a stab move, and I will take it. Um, I feel like the more that it's hurt, the more that a heal ball will work. Moon Ball only helps if you're like a, a moon evolution, which not many of these Pokemon are gonna be. So, Moon Ball is really only gonna work on like a Clef Clefairy or Clefable or whatever. Uh, Clefairy is the middle evolution, so that's the one that technically evolves under that stone. That's why I'm saying it the way that I am. Okay, now let's try, let's try hard, Ultra Ball it up. Hopefully, I mean, if, this is the time where if, I, if I'm getting legendaries, this is the time to do it, so. Oh, I didn't even shake once. Yikes. Broke free. Confusion. Infestation still there. After this deciding voice. And you are getting lower and lower on that health. And I don't, I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. You know? We're gonna go with the heal ball again. I think, I mean, I don't like using heal balls, honestly, but again, we're gonna to the point where nest balls are getting pointless, I guess, so I don't know why I'm like, oh, we need a nest ball. But it's a Viridian, it's got low capture rates, snapped out of confusion, close combat! <laughs> Yo! Okay, I wish it did recoil, I wish there was recoil, because now there's no way I can hit you. Uh, and I really need you to be freed from that. Uh, timer balls are going to start becoming effective here in a moment. We, got, we have six heal balls left. Like, the timer balls might be effective here momentarily. Uh, like I said, Pokemon are going to start getting harder and harder to catch. And Smog is going to get a poison. Darn it. That's at least it's poison. Oh no! Super nice one bite! No 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 Two, three, We got the Virizion. We triumphed. Got Virizion. You gotta nickname it. Wow. Wow. I'm actually kind of happy. I'm really happy about that. Um. Briss. Briss? No. Heron? No. Quartz! Quartz the Virizion. I actually like that name. Quartz the Virizion. That's actually not a bad name. I will take it. Uh, we're going to look at Quartz Summary because Quartz is a good Pokemon. It was down at 6 HP left. And as you can see, Virizion is, uh, oh wow, plus special defense nature and minus attack. I wish it was minus special attack, but we'll take it. It's cool. Revenge, Disarming Voice, Close Combat, and Smog. Not a terrible moveset. Again, I kind of, really kind of wish. That was more along the lines of a, uh, okay, Route 8. More along the lines, if I can think. Take a fish there. I just want to go, I want to do grass. Grass encounters kind of seem to be working out better for me anyway. Oh no, I don't, it's, it's Caloris! 
No way! That's from like the fifth gen, isn't it? He's the guy from fifth gen. Or sixth gen, I don't know. All I know is it's Chloris. Oh, you there? Oh no, 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 you there? Oh, excuse me, I'm a scientist. My name is Chloris. I've been bringing research. The theme is bringing my research is bringing the potential of Pokemon. What brings you to the power of Pokemon? I believe the one which they share with trainers, and thus my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself. Trainers found their Pokemon through the power of the Z-Ring. Now that I think of it, I've never asked your name. Oh, John, is it? I remember your name. I, to communicate our encounter, let me give you this cup. TM, commemorate. Flame charge, that is not bad, and that is a toady sticker, and I am getting it. You'll be able to utilize flame charge fully. You'll be able to have a great battle with the totem Pokemon in the next trial in the Rush Jungle. Z-Power, the true potential that I seek. Does surpa does it surpass the Mega Ring? Uh, apparently, there's uninhabited islands for the Pokemon called Pokepelago in Alola. Alola is fascinating. I believe that I will stay in Alola for some time. Well then, John, please excuse me. I have a quite curious request made to me by a couple of odd strangers. Let me get the toady sticker. We're two away. So, oh, I'm not gonna fight you. Shoot, do I? I, dude, you can. I mean, obviously you can see me on the ledge, but <laughs> well, I'm like, dude, how can you see me on the ledge? Obviously, you're on the ledge, so that's how you can see me on the ledge. Ampharos is the first Pokemon. It is gonna be a Mega Ampharos, and we know that because of the way the game has been working. That all Pokemon that can Mega Evolve will Mega Evolve. Um, okay, one well, thing we do know is I don't want to get caught in a problem, problematic scenario. So, Ampharos, I wish that you had like a Dragon type move. Well, you are, you are, you are a part Dragon type. I don't think you're gonna have a Dragon type move. I hope you don't have a Dragon type move. Mold Breaker is just gonna make it so that my ability gets suppressed, but Lock On is gonna do nothing. And it's just making it so that it's 100% accurate. Psychic Fangs is gonna drop you down. Not very much, which is about to be expected. That's kind of Ampros's thing. Sing, oh my gosh, of course you can. You look at 55% accurate, Sing. Oh, that's the whole point of having a fairy. I'm being not the smartest of person. The whole point of having a fairy type Pokemon in Sheila is to counteract. <laughs> Dragon type Pokemon. Okay. Wild Charge. Oh, Wild Charge is the one that has one fourth recoil. Volt Tackle has one half recoil. Got it. Because you have Volt Tackle. Ha! Ah, thinking emoji. I don't even know how to get the emojis on my phone, let's be real. Um. But yeah, play rough. Not even. It doesn't even kill. That was a crit. <laughs> this is how you know we're not an attacker. Our Pokemon is definitely not an attacker. I call sleep claws. I call sleep claws on that. I'm sorry. I, I'm calling sleep claws. It's not a real thing in an Just so you know. That's just competitive battle. Okay, anyway. Yeah, that's just a competitive battling thing. That's definitely not a Nuzlocke thing. Because the AI can do that. And you can do that as a player. But, lock on. And again, as we are a little bit faster, we're just going to Fire Lash it. And it should just kill it anyway. Oh my gosh, you have hit three out of three scenes. It is 55% accurate, and you've been three for three. You can see why I'm a little bit aggravated at the fact that you're three of three on a 55% accurate move. Because it's a 50% chance to hit one, which means a 25% chance to hit two, and about a 12.5% chance, so 15% chance to hit three. 
Yes! Yes. Again. Aggravating! It's pretty much 55 out of... I was about to say 1,000. But it's 100 times Earth's cube. So 100 times 100 times 100. Yikes. That's 4 for 4? Are you kidding me? What is Sing's, is Sing's accuracy? I feel like Sing's accuracy is actually 50%. Oh, the 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 doy lock on. Lock on makes Sing pretty much a hundred percent accurate. Did we wake up first turn? I like how we try and we wake up first turn. Eleven fifty. We deserve that experience. Both Pokemon are getting eleven fifty, and Sheila is getting to up to ninety eight. Phyllis is a Hoopa. This is. A, I think it's. It would tell me if it's Hoopa I'm bound, right? Either way, I'm going into Tasha. Like, there's no reason I wouldn't. Because it's Psychic Ghost or Psychic Dark. It's either neutral or quad effective. And it's gonna be quad effective! I'm ta I'll take that. Quad effective any day. Acupuncture. Doesn't that, like, raise a certain stat, just a random stat by two? It does. And it's accuracy, so it's the one that's more pointless than it could have been. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, goodbye. Hoopa is gonna go down. Hoopa on bound, I should say. 1653 experience, and that's almost a level up. So, Mikey is gone. Mikey, we don't have to worry about you anymore. I'm so sorry. And we're gonna just pick up this. Hyper Potion. Nice. Okay, we needed that Hyper Potion. To be honest, we're getting to the point. Okay, for Route 8, our encounter, our masterful encounter is... Voltorb! That's a okay po I'll take it. It's a Voltorb. We we're in our bulky Pokemon right now. It's kind of currently asleep. You know what? I'm just gonna quick ball. Even though this is like the one thing that if you want to put it in a Pokeball, it looks perfect in. But I just wanna catch this. One, two, and three. And caught. Quick and easy. Didn't have to make a long way around it, which is just fine by me. Just fine by me. Yes, we want to give a nickname to Voltorb. Our Voltorb's nickname is going to be Ronald. Ronald the Voltorb. Because why not? We gotta see your summary because we didn't even see you use a move. Let's see. You have Bolt Tackle, Charge Beam, Flash Cannon, and Transform. You're more of a special attacker, so that's fine. Charge Beam and Flash Cannon, that's nice. Transform will be interesting. So, like, if you end up becoming, like, if, it plays, if there ends up being, like, a big, big Pokemon on the field. Just because Transform allows us to keep our moves, right? Not 100% sure on that, actually. I feel like it doesn't allow us to keep our moves. Uh, when I get, like, right out. When I want to get, when I need out, I need out. That's kind of the thing. Okay, Lampet was another encounter we could have gotten. I'm actually kind of a-okay -okay with what we got. Although, now... I kind of want Urza, no, Flutter in the front, because Flutter is going to be the best Pokemon for this kind of stuff. Let's just get Phyllis to level 30, I mean, he would anyway. V create ow! Dang, this thing was ready for action, but it's ready to do 7 damage. Speed, defense, and special defense all fell because of that, which means that a sludge bomb will not, it won't do the trick, but it will do a lot of damage. Honestly, I don't think it's going to do the trick. Yeah, it's not very effective. Sunny Day, ow! You should have done Sunny Day V create. Well, you probably will, actually, because I probably won't kill with a sludge bomb, to be honest. But, yikes. I mean, okay, Flutter's a good Pokemon. 
If instead of Fudge Bomb got Poison Jab, I would not mind it all though. Okay, we are getting it. Oh, yikes, we're probably getting a deep in the side. Because that's doing some damage. Imagine if V-Create was a special move right now. Lamp it would be like. See? This is what's going on. But Flutter is gonna get 300. Phyllis is gonna go to level 30, which really she doesn't need to be that high because our next trial is level 26. But it's okay. And we can't get an encounter here, even if it's like, oh wow, it's a Pokemon, because I don't count that as guy. There are still more berries. We got a Chesto Berry. Don't really want to fight her. Ah! We're not getting we're not getting very far in this episode. I kinda wanna get to Mallow's or close to Mallow Mallow's trial. Mally Mallow's? Whatever. Mallow! Mallow's trial. There we go. I can talk. You can talk, you can walk, you can talk, you can walk. Whoa! Precipice blade! We have a mammal's one. No precipice blades. Although, it wouldn't matter because you wouldn't be able to evolve into a mammoth swine anyway because you wouldn't be able to learn ancient power. So. Can you actually not wake up? Oh my gosh, you're still asleep. Really? Why are you still asleep? This has been like 10 turns. Miss Bale. Phyllis finally woke up. Phyllis is gonna hopefully Oko. Okay. Yeah, finally. Okay, good. So we are gonna definitely switch. Because Phyllis is level 30. She has now pretty much gotten herself. As high as she really want needs to go right now. And then we also need a faster Pokemon to be able to escape the uh-oh. I hit another button. Whatever, I don't care. Yes. Although it looks like there's Pokemon that was in my P so it's like the Pokemon in my PC box or something that I can go to the Pokepelago and get Beaver. I don't even know, honestly. We got another Ultra Ball though. And I'm glad we were able to get out of the Pokepelago because that could have been a disaster waiting to happen. So everything's starting to go slow though. Frogged here, that would have been so great. That would have been a good water pack. Although, we're, like, so we're starting to get the point. Oh, we're still not, we're not fast enough, but we might be. Yeah, we're fast. We're okay. I mean, we're level 27, so Phyllis is just not a fast Pokemon in general. So, like, I don't expect Phyllis to be faster. Okay, wait, you're a trainer. See, there's Malo's trial right there. Oh, no. <gasps> we have to face how? Oh, no.
Oh, no. I have been to the Festival Plaza before, okay, How? Don't want to go there. Okay, let's just do the trial right now. Might as well, right? I mean, it's right here. Route 5, which we've already gotten an encounter in. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the trial. The Lush Jungle. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to the Lush Trial Jungle, the trial grounds for me, Mallow. You ready to get in some hot water? My trial's ready for you. Are you ready? I am 100% ready for this. We are finishing this trial up in this episode because the goal was not to run into Pokemon. I see the one who got you the smoking, the smoking stone. <laughs> Oh, ouch, that was bad reading. The one who gave you the sparkling stone, straight from Tapu Koko, how aren't you? I totally get it now. Okay then, here's Lush Jungle. For the first, for the, it's time for Mal's trial to begin. Uh, trial starts. Ah, uh, beneath the jungle, I can tell you what today's special should be. Yep, it's gonna be my secret special, the Super Mallow Special. I'm going to need you to get these three ingredients, a mocha berry, oh, some honey, and a baby meat. There you go. I got you a forage bag to hold all the ingredients while you grab it on your trial. If you toss all the ingredients in your own bag, you're going to get all of the food. Something like a mile less, I guess. So let's go. First ingredient right away. I'm gonna grab the Mago Berry. Ooh, can we get an encounter? We can get an encounter in here too. Nice. Oh no. Jeez, those four mantis. I wonder if they could tell you how tall you are. If you can find the Mago Berries around here, but you also have to find four mantis living here. Because they love Mago Berries too. If you take a mongrel berry from that Fomantis that the Fomantis has their eyes on, they might not take too kindly. When you then gather in the game, let me know. Please don't tell me that one had. Oh no! Now you can get the hardest of them. You'll find plenty of Pokemon here with lots of flowers. You'll find your ingredients. You're, you're sure you want to come with me for the next one, okay? I think they're all designed to have to be. And it's a lot of... Okay, I'm gonna take this. We got an X defense. Get out and find my ingredients. 
Dude. Don't want to start to cry off a scratch. Pseudo Widow's gonna be like, what happened? So we got three Pokemon that are gonna attack me, no matter what. Thanks for stopping by. Let me check the ingredients you got for me. The Maga Berry Birds. <laughs> the Vomantis is attacking me, and it's actually a Dedenne! Hey, I'm actually okay with that. That's a Pokemon. I don't know. Can we catch these? I don't think we can. It'll probably like you can't catch these folks. Yeah, you can't. Uh, you can't catch Pokemon until you finish the trial. Okay, fine. We actually can't catch these Pokemon until we finish the trial. So. The Dene is gonna just get annihilated because it's a Dedene. And I was not worried about a Dedene whatsoever. So we know that Dedene is one of the encounters in here, which is fine by me. Oop! You went and took the Mongo Berry that Formantis had an eye on, didn't you? Alright, let's put the Mongo Berry in the pot. There. You pour some fresh water that Lada brought us. Next up is the honey. Comb, comb, comb. It's a Patrat! Please tell me these encounters are not this trash. Please tell me the encounters are not this trash. I can't. I can't have the encounters on this route being trash like that. If they're, if they're all this trash, that's gonna suck. And I'm not gonna be able to use them. As much as I love Pokemon, I'm not gonna be- I'm not gonna use a Patrick. That is the one Pokemon I'm sworn not to use. Well, actually, if I have to, I will. But, I would rather not. Next, we mix the honey. Then, using the thick gloves like Kiawe we got us. Can we use Kiawe's thick club? <gasps> Last, we get the big roots. <laughs> what are you? Oh my gosh! Oh. Oh. Dang! Okay, Reggie Gigas. 20, level 24 with Ray Start. We have Break Break. Luckily, we have Break Break. Oh my gosh. If, Reggie, if we can head to Reggie, Reggie Gigas here, that would be great. Oh, that's got confused right now. Dude, we have so many Pokemon that can confuse, but nothing, no other status conditions that can be done. That is our problem. I just double tap for break because I'm like, oh no, it's gonna die, and then I realize, oh wait, we're supposed to kill it. We're supposed to gain experience. Um, so Reggie can get this fame today, which is good. Or is it gains 478 experience, leveling up to level 28 off of that, which is great by me, with almost 100 a special attack and 100 attack. Great, 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 great. Those little weirdo. They like to put big roots around their feet to look more like real trees. I guess okay, this one wanted to root big root bag. And finally, it's finished. With my last page of my special secret sauce. Oh. oh, innuendo is all around. Ta da! The super rallo special. It's all done. It smells really delicious. The unique aroma begins to waft around the area. You feel a piercing gaze somewhere within the underbrush. Snip, snip, snip. Let me do a vasectin. Oh, ooh, it's a totem bay net. Ouch, that's not great. What is it? Speed rope. I can't. Everybody's. Why is all these Pokemon speed rope? 
I mean, that's fine by me because stance change and everything, and we have what I call priority, and priority trumps um, at all times. And Bayonet almost gets Oko. Willow is what you're gonna start out with. I don't like Willow Wisp. I don't like Willow Wisp. I don't like Willow Wisp. No, I don't like Willow Wisp. No, I don't like Willow Wisp. No, it's a Kamo. Oh, it's it's literally the baby brother. We I've got your baby brother on the team. Okay, Bayonet should die to this. Ooh, Kamo has protect too. Nice. Okay, Shadow Sneak. This should kill Bayonet. I shouldn't have to worry about Bayonet for the rest of the play. Here. Nope, I still have to worry about Bayonet. Ooh, Hex is gonna do a good amount of damage. Oh, that's right, I was bad! Survived, but we were burned. Uh, come on, Sheila. Time to rip us another one. Keep us alive again. Oh, that was a good Pokemon snow. That was like an ama amazing Pokemon. I love that Pokemon so much. Abide. Ooh. Ooh. Paint tag is not doing anything. That I'm not worried about. But still! Oh, that hurts! Because that's. Oh, I forgot his name. Oh, that's Urza! That's Urza, though! Uh... Urza was a good Pokemon, too. It was an Aegis Slash. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were biting. And this is Urza. Okay. Come on, oh. Oh, Koda, come up. Oh. Again, we have our Sheila kind of bailing us out for the second time. Unfortunately, I guess that we were burned and that's kind of what happened. Sheila wants to learn the move assist. That's a terrible move, and I remember that. Oh my gosh. So, no, I don't want to. Keep all moves. But our Mega Autono defeated Totem Bayonet. And we lost one of the newer members. I think it was one of the newer members of the squad. But still, I thought our team was good. I th well, it is good. But you battled your way through the Pokemon living in the jungle to get to me and the ingredients I needed. You and your Autono with a fabulous team. Actually, yeah, my Mega Autono is not a bad Pokemon. Yes, you beat us at the, the Volcano Park. Nor did the Ana Araquanid that I had trained so carefully. Wow, it looks like you cleared all three trials of Kana's trials. You are amazing, here, like you just cleared the Subar Crown. Definitely deserves this. Another Z Crystal! We're gonna have to train again. I just realized this. I literally went on a training session. Training session. I'm gonna have to train again because another Pokemon died. At least we're at episode, like, what, 13? Literally, what I've laughed about is that a, there's pretty much a Pokemon that dies every episode. Now, let me show you how to use the grass type of Z moves. You go like, grass, okay? Here, watch me. Since you cleared my trial, John, why don't you try raising some Pokemon from the lush jungle? Here's some nest balls. Oh, we can get a Pokemon here. Maybe we get another. We can't get another AG Slash because it's the Doob Squad. Mana, Kiyama, you guys, you should have some. Uh, um, I'm pretty full right now. I, uh, just ate a berry. Yeah. Uh, and that food you cooked is suited to be Pokemon's taste buds, right? I think it's probably best to save it for Lorantis when it wants more. You, you think? Olivia says she thinks it's delicious. I think people would enjoy cooked for a to Pokemon or enjoy food cooked for a totem Pokemon too. So your guys' losses. Well, 
I guess I'll just go take this to Olivia. See you around, John. Whoa, what's a sweet smell of smell drifting my way? Could it be the tasty Milo special? I heard you cleared Milo's trial, yeah! And then, I have a present for you, a little GM. It's called Smart Stripe. It is a move that will never miss. What? Oh my gosh, of course you would. I hate you. I hate you, Professor Kakui. You would rub it in my face so hard right now. You are rubbing this in my face so hard right now. We literally lose our Steel type Pokemon, and you give us the best move for it. One of the better moves for this thing. Kakui, just leave. Just go. Shoo, shoo, and shoo. Shoo, I don't care about you anymore. You literally just gave me a move that I would have loved to have five seconds ago. Literally not joking, because I would have actually killed the freaking um, bayonet. Actually, no, I wouldn't have. It's super effective, so it would have been 80 power. But still, I would have loved it. Nonetheless, I still would have loved it. Oh, boy. Oh no. Oh, that's Route 5. Darn it. No. No, 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 no. I can't save with. I need to find like two more Toady stickers. Like, if there's anything I need to find that's that, it's two totem stickers. Because if I find two totem stickers, then that grants me another Pokemon, which would be fantastic. Can we go in here? I feel like we can. That's right, this is the daycare, okay. I feel like this will like bring us to the actual in town, right? Yeah, okay. This brings us to actual town town. I kind of just want to get the totem stickers. I already got the ones out of here though, didn't I? I feel like I had to have. Because I went up these stairs. I swear I did. And there was one up here. I got these ones already. Okay. Gotta find like two more. And then I, cause I get my special like encounter at 20, I think. Oh, I should probably, Roadhog will probably be like, hey, I've got something for you. You better have something for me. I just completed a trial and you don't have anything for me. Thanks, Rotom. You're like the most useless thing in the world. Okay, what about Nikita Hia? There has to be some more Nikita Hia. Like, okay, I can fly to Nikita Hia right now. And that's what I'm gonna do because I swear there has to be a few more. Like, I have, that's, I have to find two more. Just, just two more, and then that's all that I need to find.
I don't think there's any up here either. Oh, yeah, 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 there is. Okay, nice. Okay, we're at 19. One more. Come on, we need one more measly toady sticker. That's it. One more totem sticker, and that is it. We can find one more, right? I know we can. We have to be able to find one more, right? Oh, that's where to go. We're still not gonna leave. You and your herd here have problems. I really don't want to get into a cutscene. Just kind of want to get the sticker and go. I don't think I can get anything in here, though. I think we've already tried to find the totem stickers in here. We are missing... Oh, whoa! Found it, found it, found it, found it, found it, found it, found it. Ha ha ha! We got it. Okay. This is literally the only reason. Hey! I want to talk to you. This is... Oh, hello there. This is me, Sam Samo. Here to collect the toady stickers. You should come stop by here at Beach. I really should, because I want to see what my account, what my Pokemon is that I can add to the party, if I can add it to the party, if it's a good Pokemon, because obviously if it's a Wurmple or something stupid, I'm going to be mad that I wasted probably like 10 minutes trying to do that. Okay, so... Add here. Here. Beach. I've been hoping to see you again. It seems like you've collected 20, 20 totem stickers. I told you that there's but you have. I told you I'd give you a special eradicate. You did it. Did that as big as a real totem pose one once. You got toady stickers. You received eradicate. No, wait. Is it really? It can't be. <laughs> It's a dupe. It's Stoop Sloss. One out of 807 Pokemon. And it's a <sighs> Well, we can't use it, so... You know... Oh, Darn it. Frip. Frip the bear. I want to see your- what level are you? Level 20 with Swift Swim as an ability? Bear Tick gets Swift Swim? I didn't think it would get Swift Swim, honestly. Also, with- Hail, Icicle Spear, Haze, and Acid Spray, which is even worse. Actually, we want the Heat Rock. That we can take, because the Heat Rock is nice. So, let's figure out what. Let's figure out what Pokemon we're adding to our bag, because we have to figure that out now, because obviously, we are not, we can't use, there's only, we can't use the Pokemon that we just got. Um, because, A, we already have a bear tick, so technically it's stupid claws and we can't use it. I'm just going to keep it in there just because, why not have a bigger box but not be able to use it. So it's like... Plus, we have to input our, um... So it's not dead. 
but it's in like a non-usable box because it's dupes. Okay, so we have like a bunch of Pokemon in here that, well, AG Slash is dead. I don't, I was like, why did that thing have to die? Out of all of them. Look at all the Pokemon that are dead. A, we, a Mega Lucario, a Xerneas, an Aegis Lash. Like, there are some Pokemon here that are just like, how did they die? And it's called me being reckless. So we have Tapu Koko. We have Verizion, which wouldn't repeat a typing. We have Ronald, who would become a Vol or a Electrode by the time I'm done grinding. Charmeleon, I'm not really ready yet. I'm not really ready with Charmeleon yet. You're gonna, I want you to evolve into Charizard before I'm really ready. Uh, Combi is, like I said, it's, it's called Never because it's never gonna be used. Um, and that's a necessary thing. Um, I might go with Verizion, although, like I said, Verizion. I, as much as I like Verizion, it's got a quad weakness to flying, and we don't really appreciate flying types momentarily. We need, and we need, that's why we wanted that steel type, that steel ghost type. That was great for us, because it gave us immunities to a lot of our, like, eh typings. Flying is a, one of our eh typings right now, and with it being our eh, one of our eh typings, I'm gonna, I want so badly. Well, you're gonna be a steel type here momentarily. Ah. You're modest, though. You're not really a great nature. <sighs> I know, everybody's like, everybody's probably screaming at me to grab the tap of cocoa, but. Funny enough, I feel more comfortable with Voltorb because it's got electric moves and it'll be uh, not a Voltorb, it'll be something else in a minute. It'll be an Electrode and I honestly feel more comfortable. Because yeah, Tappy Koko stats are way more through the roof than um, what it's called, um, Ronald, but Ronald's stats, A, he's not a fully evolved Pokemon, and his speed, he's three levels up below, but he's got electric, and he's got actual moves. Whereas Tabu Koko doesn't, and will not get moves. That's the problem with having, like, I like tankier and more bulky Pokemon. I don't like Pokemon that try and, like, deliver a hit. And typically under that, under that rule, I would go with Mamoswine, but I'm gonna go with Voltorb. Right? I don't know, it just feels like the smart play to me, so I'm going Voltorb. It's official, I'm going Voltorb, it's in the party, I can't change it. It'll be an Electrode when you see it, so we'll see what it stats look like. And then also, we forgot to dump our little Mega Audino into the PC, because that's how you make it so it stays in Mega Audino. So, I'm gonna save, and next time, we will be doing Some Lily thing, because Lily wants to talk to us again. Because why won't Lily talk to us? See you guys then.